What's going on, my friend? It's Jeff Newbert from ChasingStrength.com. And in today's video, I have an embarrassing and somewhat damaging admission. So uh, let's get into it if you're into that sort of thing. So here's the deal. We recently went on vacation to the beach to Florida and uh, much to my dismay, I became that guy. The guy who has to wear a sun shirt. Now, <laughs> You're like, dude, it's crazy. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. And as you may or may not know, if you've been following my videos or you're on my email list, I've often written about not being the guy who has to wear a sun shirt at the beach or a pool to hide his stomach fat or his man boobs, right? Now, if you don't know what a sun shirt is, it's usually, but not always, usually a long sleeve shirt that has some kind of SPF uh, or sun protection built into it so you don't have to bathe in sunscreen every 90 minutes or so. And uh, what you'll see is a picture of me, right, in my sun shirt along with my kiddos. You may be wondering, well, how did you end up wearing a sun shirt? And it was because of this. Here's a picture of me building a sandcastle on the beach with my daughter, all right? And uh, <clears throat> I'm kind of embarrassed that I only used SPF 30. Okay, and I got a wicked, wicked sunburn, like almost lobster red on the first day we were out on the beach. You know, like, dude, only 30? Why didn't you put 50 or 100 or, or some, something like that on? Because in the past, I haven't had to. And I got a base tan up here in the mountain. Because of the altitude at which we live, the air is pretty thin, so you can burn pretty fast here. But it was, you know, it was nothing like the burn I got down here. So even though <laughs> I thought I had enough sunscreen on, again, I was lobsterville. So as a result, I had to swallow my pride and cover up. So I suppose the only saving grace was that while my son and I were in the ocean together, he said, dad, you look like the incredible Hulk. That shirt is sticking to your six pack, which just cracked me up because that was the last thing I was expecting to, to hear. Now, why are you sharing this dude? Jeff, what, what's this matter? Like you may think I'm bragging, but I'm not right. Like with the whole Hulk six pack thing, I'm not. All I want to do is point two very simple facts out. Like if a guy like me with my injury history and my insomnia history can get in this kind of shape where your son points out your six pack at age 51, then anybody, including you with just a little bit of stick to itness, can too, right? And more importantly, at least more importantly for me, I'm demonstrating to my children, especially my son, that men can and should be lean, healthy, and strong. It's part of our DNA. It's one of the things that makes us a man. It's not the only thing, but it's one of the things, self-control, all right? But unfortunately, we now live in a society that focuses on being body positive and showing body acceptance. And it's supposed to be acceptable to be 400 pounds and still love yourself. Now, a little side note here. I suggest that the very reason that someone is 400 pounds is because deep inside, they do not love themselves. And that's his way or her way of hiding and keeping people away. Uh, but we'll save the psychoanalysis or more psychoanalysis for some other time. All right. Now, also, I think it's really important for me to point out here. I'm not shaming anybody or you, or if you happen to be slightly overweight because of the way they look, right? That's just mean and unloving. So don't do it. Right. And that's not what I'm doing. And please don't do that. Okay. Let's just use that as an observation and motivation for us, okay, to change. So, but the fact that you, and not you, but, you know, the, the global you might feel some shame and even some embarrassment, embarrassment, excuse me, about the way you look is because deep inside, you know you should do, and more importantly, this is the most important part, can do better. You probably, if you're like most guys, just don't know how to at this point particular moment. So for many, the shame and embarrassment come from not living up to your own expectations, disappointing yourself and giving yourself a pass, right? And deep inside, I think most of us know when we do that sort of thing that we are out of alignment or out of integrity with ourselves, which is why it feels so bad when you actually stop to think about it, uh, regardless of what the rest of the world says and tries to get you to agree with them about, right? So you try not to think about it. And for a lot of guys, that's where the whole concept of self-medication comes in, right? Like drinking too much, spending too much time cruising through social media, excessive TV watching, that sort of thing. That's where the, uh, the self-medication enters in. So they temporarily soothe the pain and they kick the problem down the road. But the problem with that is, is the problem, right? Being overweight and the pain that caused the problem, both of those actually just resurface and they continue to resurface over and over again. And so that can, man, it just always needs to be re-kicked. What's my suggestion? Well, my suggestion is to just get started. Okay. And then once you get started, don't stop ever right? That's my thing. I just don't ever stop. How do you get started? Well, you start it with the easiest, most no-brainer 
kettlebell program you can find, right? So if you can swing a kettlebell, just start with that simple program. What program should you use? Well, I'll leave a link in the description below, okay? Regardless of what program you choose, start today if you haven't already. Start now. You can do this. All right, my friend, hopefully you found this video encouraging and helpful. If you did, click the like button, leave a comment in the, the uh, comment section below. Uh, smash the subscribe button if you haven't already and share it with a friend who needs some encouragement. All right. Until next time, my friend, stay strong.